you can close your eyes and drive in India. And um, uh, because, you know, here in India, you have to honk. You Military have, grade. You uh, drive by sound, not by sight. Well, if somebody can conquer autonomous driving in India, you can be assured that, that autonomous driving will be solved everywhere in the world. Autonomous vehicles use the wrong sensors for India. Uh, cameras are obviously insufficient. You can't use computer vision, you need sonar. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. What an absolute honor it is to be in conversation with one of the most inspirational business leader of our times. An overnight success that has only been 33 years in the making a company that is truly at the vanguard of civilizational progress. Jensen, thank you firstly so much for being with us here this evening. Thank you, delighted to be here. Thank you for the great welcome, the wonderful welcome. Great, I'll start with uh, a really core technological question. Um, how is your jacket holding up in the Mumbai heat? <laughs> it's fine, thank you. <laughs> I enjoy the heat, it was wonderful. Um, you said that uh, you said recently that AI uh, is leading is ushering in a new industrial revolution. Could you give us a broad overview of uh, in what manifest ways is it going to change how we live and work? Well, uh, AI has has uh, revolutionized several things. First, it has reinvented computing from coding programming to machine learning, from software to artificial intelligence, from software running on CPUs to now neural networks running on GPUs. And so the three fundamental computing stacks that underlies computing has been reinvented. That's a technology perspective. From an industrial perspective, there's something that is being manufactured that is fundamentally new. We're now producing something at scale in high volume that has never been produced before. That's the reason why I call it an industrial revolution. In fact, if you take a step back and think about where India plays in the role of the world's industries, India today manufactures software at scale. And for the very first time, we're gonna produce intelligence at scale. Not software, but intelligence. Intelligence is gonna be in the form of numbers. We call them tokens. When constituted in different ways, turns into words, images, videos, maybe even chemical compounds for drugs or amino acids and proteins or even physics to predict weather. And so these numbers, we call them tokens, are going to be produced at extremely high volumes. And these, as a result of that, there's a new industry. This new industry is gonna be powered by new factories and of course, we're really grateful to be manufacturing the computers to create the computers that are inside these factories. But by converting energy through this new factory, we call them AI factories, we will produce intelligence. This is completely brand new, an industry that has never existed before. And so in a lot of ways, everything that we're talking about now is unimaginable until now. You are uh, very bullish on some of the big applications of uh, your technology. Autonomous cars are about them, um, um, robotics are about them. Now that you have experienced India's traffic, can NVIDIA make chips that can enable autonomous driving in India? Well, if somebody can conquer autonomous driving in India, you can be assured that, that autonomous driving will be solved everywhere in the world. The, 
of, of course, of course, we also know that that um, autonomous vehicles use the wrong sensors for India. Uh, cameras are obviously insufficient. You you can't use computer vision. You need sonar, and um, uh, because you know here in India you have to honk. And, you Military have, grade. You uh, drive by sound, not by sight. You can close your eyes and drive in India. Some uh, military-grade autonomous driving that will be. Unbelievable grade, yeah.